everybody, Glenn here, and January's Loot Crate is actually in my possession before the end of the month. Very surprised, so I thought I'd dig into it right away. This is the Discover-themed Loot Crate. Um, we're a little disappointed with the year-end Loot Crate last month, so let's see if they can redeem themselves this time around. All right, let's start with the shirt. A white shirt, very unusual. And... I kind of expect myself to be a little bit, not disappointed, but kind of out of it with this loot crate because I don't really like Rick and Morty, and I, I'm not much into Harry Potter either, and those two are two of the featured items this month. So starting with Rick and Morty, white shirt, pretty cool design, different. I like seeing something that's not a black or a gray or a dark blue shirt. This is a bright white shirt. Awfully wrinkled, but that's going to show up a lot more in a white shirt. So pretty interesting design. Pretty fun. Uh, not a bad shirt. The shirt quality doesn't feel all that great this time around. But it is a licensed shirt and exclusive to Loot Crate. Loot Crate kind of makes their own shirts. So and it looks like we have another, another wearable. Looks like it's a pair of socks. Harry Potter socks. So there we go. Harry Potter socks. These feel very much like the hosiery, thin, thin, thin type of socks that we normally get in these boxes. A um, couple of boxes have done a better job of getting actual wearable socks, but these are these are going to get ripped apart pretty quickly. Um, you know, th these aren't meant to last a long time. They're really thin. Uh, you know, I'm fine with the design. Harry Potter, if we're going to hit Harry Potter stuff, socks are pretty cool to get. Um, but that is a second wearable in this box. And we you have the loot wear, so it's interesting to get a second wearable in the regular loot crate box when they're trying to, to get people to get the loot wear. But this might be one way to get them to do it. All right, big item in the box is a Westworld, box, uh, Westworld item. Now, this I can get behind. Totally dig the Westworld series on HBO. Uh, this is a similar item to what we got with the Stranger Things item. I, was that even in Loot Crate? I think it was. Um, this uh, Loot Crate Super Emo Friends. Uh, we got the Stranger Things one uh, a couple months ago. And this one is Westworld. So let's open it up. Sealed on both sides, which I don't like to see. But it's going to be one of those little playset looking things. Yeah. So we've got we've got the backdrop. We've got the Westworld Western backdrop there, and then this platform attaches to it. Like so. So now you have the platform there. And it looks like we have Dolores and um, Albert. I think that's what his name was. Right there as your as your figure pieces. And there's holes in the actually the yeah, there's a couple holes in the playset for you to put Albert in. Not sure quite how this is supposed to go. I don't want to break it or anything, but there we go. Actually, I think he's supposed to be facing Dolores, right? Because they're in their one of their one of their sessions where they talk, and he's asking her questions about whether she is aware of what's going on. There you go. And there's Dolores right there. The way they have it actually in here, or on the picture, is they're facing the same way. So I had that wrong. Just like that. So there is the little diorama there. Um, so the, Jay Salvador, this is that super emo friends. Same like the, same as the, uh, 
as the Stranger Things one we got. I like this one a little bit better because this one you can just display front to back, you know, facing forward, and it's a good display. Whereas the Stranger Things one, Eleven was turned away facing the Demogorgon, so you couldn't see her except for the back of her head unless you did it sideways. And then if you did it sideways, you couldn't see another part of it. But this one is pretty straightforward. Nice little... Nice little scene with the two characters. In fact, you can put Dolores anywhere you want because she's flat there. So there you go. Pretty cool scene. I like it. Um, pretty simple, easy to put together. Um, not a lot of not a lot of uh, challenge to it there, but it makes a really easy, fun display piece. And I like the super emo friends art. It's pretty cool looking easy to put back in the box. And there we go. Westworld Super Emo Friends little diorama there. I missed a piece, but that's alright. Okay, next we've got an X-Files item. X-Files The Circle of Truth. So let's see what this is. It looks like a, either a card holder, might be a multi-tool. All right, it's an it's a FBI badge. There's Scully there. Um, it's kind of a oh, it looks like it's a, a set of cards. So it's a set of cards that looks like a game. It's actually an X Files: The Circle of Truth card game. See, so there's your different cards, um, and it gives you. Moldy, Mulder and Scully, and then you get a deck of cards, and there's a game involved there, which is probably what these little instructions are for. So that's cool. And, and a cool little card game in kind of a faux badge folder here. Pretty neat. I like the setup. I like that. I like the, um, the presentation. That looks really good. And yeah, those are the instructions to the card game right there. So X Files card game. And lastly we've got the pin and it's the maze from Westworld. Is the pin pretty cool and like all Loot Crate pins it unlocks something if you go to uh, lootcrate.com slash pins. So there's the pin for this month and that's pretty much it. We've got the pin, we've got the X-File game, X-Files game, we've got the Westworld little figure diorama, we've got the socks, and we've got the shirt. So five items, if you include the pin. Spoiler card, another very basic spoiler card, no Loot Crate book. I'm, that's actually really disappointing to me. This is two months in a row without a book. Loot Crate's doing away with a book, fine, but that was one of their calling cards. So one of the things that they're, compared to other boxes, um, is their cool book with all, you know, interesting articles and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So looks like Geek Fuel has kind of taken over that mantle about having a book every month because now Loot Crate, two in a month, two, uh, two months in a row, is just having a very basic, not even pictures, um, spoiler card. Um, loot checklist. There's only five things in it. I don't know where they get six. Okay, visit magazine.lootcrate.com for full product details, literal community features, and more. So they put their magazine online instead of making it a part of the box. Making people go do something else to see something that was featured in a box, in boxes for years, not thrilling to me. So that is it. Um, I will come back and we'll look at values and uh, scores on what I think of this box. All right, here we go. Let's look at the values. We'll start with the t-shirt. T-shirt I give a standard $15. It's a fine t-shirt. I like the fact that it's a white shirt. Again, it's not great quality, but it's an original enough design while still being licensed to be worth that $15. bucks. you would be paying that if you went and got this at Hot Topic or something. Uh, the diorama. This is going on eBay right now for $13. 
13 bucks for that. Uh, as far as fluctuation on loot crate items, um, it's kind of a yes or no situation in that loot crate does have a store and they periodically put stuff up on that loot crate vault from the items from their boxes, maybe not the entire box, but items at least from their boxes. Um, so there is a possibility that you could get these items later on for a cheaper price than you would find on eBay or whatever. The, um, the disclaimer on that is the fact that I've, I've noticed that Loot Crate Vault items go up a long time down the road. They don't instantly go up as far as I've noticed. I remember I got the Doctor Strange Q-Fig um, from the Loot Crate box, and it was six months after the box that it was in came out. So I'm not necessarily going to get those, these items in the Loot Vault if they go up at all. Not necessarily in a very timely. So, um, if you have the patience and you want to wait and see what's on the loot vault months down the line, then you could, you know, conceivably say, "Oh, well, we'll see if it's in the store." Won't worry too much about getting stuff off of eBay. But if, if something you have, you you really want to make sure that you don't miss out on. You're not 100% sure that you're that it's going to end up on the loot vault, and you want it right away that's when you'll go to eBay or look at the values here. So $13 for the Westworld little diorama scene. Uh, the pin, a typical $5. It's a nice pin, five bucks on eBay as well. The Harry Potter socks going for $7 right now. And then the game, the X-Files game, is right around $7.50. There, this one kind of is all over the map as far as bids and, and listings and stuff. So it goes from $7.25 to $14 to $10 to $7 to $8. So I, I put it at $7.50 because that was pretty much the the norm of the ones I saw. So $7.50 for that game. So that brings the total to $47.50. Now, if I was still paying $21.99 with shipping, that would be an A value because it would be over two times. But starting this month, Loot Crate is up to $24.99 with shipping. Remember, they added $3 to their shipping costs. So now at $24.99, it's not twice the value. It's about $1.7, $1.8. So not quite two times the value. It worries me a little bit that last month, the value of Loot Crate was about $53. This month, it's $47.50-ish. So the value went down. The price went up in the same month. That worries me a little bit. Now, Loot Crate's always kind of been a roller coaster with values. I know two months ago, um, or three months ago, was a low value. November was a high value. December was a disappointing box, but it was a pretty high value. And then this time it's going lower. So it's hard to say, hard to judge. We kind of have to see a trend. But they tend to rubber band a lot with the values of the items. So that is values. Let's look at the scores and what I think. Um, well, the value is obviously a B. About 1.7, 1.8 times the price. Fun Factor, I gave this box an A. And the reason is, just strictly looking at Fun Factor, we got two different wearables, which is cool. We got a t-shirt and we got socks. Um, and this game, very Fun Factor oriented as far as my ratings go. Something different, something you go, oh, well, that's cool. It's a card game. Something you're going to use in the future. Um, if you're an X-Files fan if, or you just have, like having these little card games, which are cool to have around, um, um, there's there's big fun factor there. So I gave fun factor an A. Uh, but the theme I gave a C. It's another mismatched box. Um, the, the theme is Discover. I don't see a whole lot of Discover here except maybe the X-Files. Um, Rick and Morty to a certain extent, but I don't really see it. You know, the, the items are all over the place. They don't really relate to each other. They don't really relate really closely to the theme. So this box, to me, might as well have not had a theme. In fact, I if they're going to have items, this is the second, third month in a row that really haven't done well with a the theme, you should just pull a Geek Fuel and go with no theme. Just a regular geeky subscription box. They're trying to fit a broad theme with items that, you know, don't relate to each other. So... Uh, disappointed with the theme, a little bit better than last month, but not much. Uh, curation, I gave a B. 
uh, it's good to see them including something different like the game. But we got a similar item here as we did in October, and that was only th three months ago, right? So the October was the Stranger Things. January is this. Is it something we're going to get over and over again? Um, that speaks to curation. You know, you don't want to see a similar item that you've seen within the past couple of months. Um, execution, I also gave a B. Shipping was great. Shipping was fast this time. That was awesome. Um, good shirt. The pin is really cool. I like the game. So ex execution-wise, it was good. Points off for the spoiler card. Nonsense. Not even any pictures or anything. Very cheap spoiler card. Um, and no physical book in the box. I don't like seeing a company like Loot Crate. That's the... He's... They're the... He... Loot Crate is the, one of the big boys, right? They, um, I don't like seeing them use cost-cutting measures like this, um, while at the same time raising the price twice in six months. So I get being, you know, trying to save here and there, but on things that I think are iconic parts of the Loot Crate box, again, no activity for the box. No turning it inside out and making it something cool. Second month in a row. They Have they quit that? Is that another cost-cutting thing? They're taking iconic things about the Loot Crate and turning it into a willy-nilly box that you could get, you know, that they're taking away the things that make the Loot Crate unique, and that bothers me a lot. Yeah, do I use the box and turn it inside out and make the, all the crazy stuff out of it every month? No, I hardly ever do it, but I think it's a cool feature. Um, do I do anything with the spoiler cards? No, but I think it's a cool feature. A lot of things from a subscription box, subscription box um, are telling. And when you go from a cool niche uh, feature of your box to paring it down to a normal, you know, it might not matter in the long run, but it's a testament to where your company is going. And I've said this before with other boxes. It worries me when things like spoiler cards go away or books go away or, you know, things that make that box different than the other boxes. Not Loot Crate has never been that different from other subscription boxes, but now it's really kind of taking away the things that made it cool. It made it iconic in this, in this uh, subscription box space. So that I don't care for. So overall, I gave it a B minus. It's okay. I mean, it's a pretty standard box. Cool stuff in it, nothing to complain about per se, other than the little things here or there, like the theme really threw me off again, and um, the fact that those Loot Crate featured things, even though seemingly nothing, um, says a lot about where the box is going. So we'll see how they are next month. Um, we'll, we'll give it another go and kind of... I kind of make my decisions on these boxes as I go. I'm getting more on the fence with the crate. Let's put it that way. It might go into a rotation with another box that I think is a little bit more consistent. So we'll kind of see. Um, let me know what you think of Loot Crate this month. Loot Crate tends to inspire um, a lot of emotion among subscribers and you know people either love it or hate it, it seems. So let me know what you think. As always, check out my social media off to the side. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit me up on Twitch. Unboxing's going up on Twitch pretty soon. I've got major announcement about how that's going to work here fairly soon. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys later. Bye.